welcome everyone to the uh, the workshop how to optimize your website your mortgage website for conversion welcome to uh, San Diego our, our office here um, I just want to uh, uh, you know welcome you guys to the to the workshop um, this is all part of the 2018 internet marketing plan workshop that I did back in uh, about a month and a half ago uh, where we went and uh, we went deep on this online dominance blueprint uh, we talked about all the different things that you could be doing online and uh, um, and so yeah and so, so today's workshop is one of the most important ones that's uh, we're right here on number one right your foundation that's your your, your website and uh, I'm really excited about this today. I'm, I'm going to be sharing with you some some of our client sites that we built and how, like how uh, what that's done for them. So a little bit of housekeeping to get started. Please turn off uh, your cell phones, Facebook. You know, close the other tabs down in your browser. Um, if you're if you're serious about uh, about your business and you want to. Uh, get the most out of this you know the next 60 minutes uh, is what what I'm planning for about 60 minutes uh, we're really is, is really gonna be cri critical um, you know so uh, a little bit about me I I, uh, I don't want to make this a uh, whole story about me but real quick we wrote a book uh, it's called the the complete guide to internet marketing for mortgage brokers um, I'm widely accepted in the community uh, as one of the premier experts in internet marketing for mortgage brokers, and uh, I think more importantly, the most important uh, of all is that I've had the, the chance and the opportunity to work with many, many mortgage brokers across the nation and bring them in more calls, more leads on a consistent basis. So. Again, this is not based on a a book that I read, and you know, now I'm presenting to you. This is not this. This is based on on real uh, real life. Real. real uh, this is us. You know, working in the business. We're we're building out the websites and the landing pages, and looking at the analytics uh, of these websites on on a monthly basis. And you know, this is what we do. So. Uh, <clears throat> So yeah, so real quick, um, uh, I have a real quick question for you. Did you download the workbook? Uh, I printed out the, I, I emailed everyone uh, that's on the call today, um, and some that couldn't make it, that uh, I, I emailed you guys a couple times with the workbook. If you don't have it already printed out, I suggest you, uh, you find it. Or you can just go to right here, mortgagebrokermarketing.com forward slash conversion dash workbook. Uh, there you'll find it. Please print it out. You know, it's, it's, uh, it, you'll get a lot more out of it. If you're just going to sit there and let me, you know, put information in your head and, you know, that, that's only going to get you so far. You know, that I, I'd hate for it. I'd hate for that to happen when really, if you could take this, uh, take this uh, work workshop today go through the workbook and uh, and, and there'll be an opportunity to, to uh, you know share a couple uh, a couple uh, action items um, and yeah and so we'll be going through this uh, along with the the workshop today and so I, I'd like to open it up with a with a question and that question, you know, what is the, what is the one online marketing element that will have the biggest impact on the results of your internet marketing strategy, um, your overall internet marketing efforts? <clears throat> and in my opinion, that that's your website, right? That is, the, your website is the hub, right? This is where, no matter what kind of advertising you're doing, if you're doing uh, if you have some radio ads or whatever, wherever they hear your name, they're gonna go to Google, and and type in your name, and that, that now your website is and its ability to convert a visitor into a paying client is uh, is is really uh, gonna 
going to make a, a big difference. Um, and uh, I, I can I can paint a picture here, like show you two scenarios, right? And so scenario number one is say we have 500 visitors and 500 visitors per month uh, to your website and your website converts 5% of those so 5% have called you or filled out a contact form um, submitted a contact form through uh, through the website so that means you would get 25 leads out of those 500 visitors and say now you can are able to convert 30% of those visitors or those uh, those calls into a into a loan into a closed loan now that would be seven new clients seven new loans closed in, from those 500 visitors and say your average tr transaction value is $1200 uh, that would make you 8400 right so um so yeah that now let's look at another scenario right scenario number two same same amount of visitors 500 visitors per month say that in the conversion now of that website is 15 percent right so we we slightly increased it and what what that's going to do for you is give you uh you know d more than twice as many leads right 75 per 75 calls now um you converting 30% of those into closed loans, much big, much bigger difference, right? 22 new clients, and you're looking at a $1,200 transaction value. That's $26,400 um, compared to the $8,400 in commissions. So much different, and, and you know, just by uh, some uh, some key conversion elements that a lot of websites are missing can re can really ratchet this up for, for you guys. Your your revenue. So, can conversion, uh, conversion, imp conversion optimization really have an impact? And so here's a, a before and after shot of a of a site. And what what we see, you know, before on the left, uh, after on the right, and um, and some some of the things that we 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 took advantage of above, above the fold here, um, ha and you know, adding some, some personality with the video really uh, really change things around for this business and and let's look uh, at some of the stats um, we got a total of 27 leads from that uh, from that form that I'll go back real quick this this form right here that's what uh, that's what this is looking at right 27 leads they got in the last 30 days and uh, and then they got 10 phone calls on a mobile device so this this is, uh, you can find this in your Google My Business dashboard. Uh, there's an insights tab, and you'll see under phone calls, you'll see how many phone calls you got. So it's not actually tracking every single phone call that came in through your website because there's not a, um, there's not a way to do that. What this tracks is on a mobile device, how many times, the search results looks a little bit different on a mobile device. Um, there'll be a click to call button in the, in the search results page of, uh, of Google map listing so if you're showing up highly there and uh, people are clicking that this is what that's that's how this is getting recorded so um, that's over 30 something 30 uh, you know 30 leads in in a month and you know there was many more phone calls uh, than these 10 that were tracked from the mobile device uh, people clicking on the mobile search result so uh, so how do we optimize for conversion? A uh, conversion being a phone call, right? We're like, how do we get more phone calls? And it's really eight critical elements uh, that will uh, that will enhance the you know your conversions, uh, your conversion rate. And number one, your website should speak to your target avatar. So. Your target, your ideal client. What are they? What are their uh, fears and frustrations? What are their hopes and dreams? You know, why why should they choose you? Your website should speak about these mm -hmm. things. Um, you should be real, right? Using using real imagery, uh, multimedia through throughout the website. Um, 
it's gonna go uh, it's gonna connect a lot better than a, a stock photographer stock photo of uh, some some happy family or uh, you know some 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 real estate looking guy shaking a hand shaking hands with someone in front of a house it's gonna do much better if it's uh, the owner of the company you know some of their team members maybe uh, at their office or you know you know things uh it's it really doesn't have to be um, these awesome you know thought well thought out pictures or, or anything they it's just uh, if you're front and center you know that it, 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 it does something there it connects with the visitor and um, and so and a lot of web a lot of uh, mortgage companies websites they, they use stock photos and they're they're missing this and so just adding this this element to their site can really change things um, and use and use video you know what have a have a website welcome video have when someone comes to the website uh, you know welcome them with a with a short video and uh, <clears throat> You know, maybe maybe some videos also on the on the loan programs. Uh, you know, on the inner pages that talk about the FHA loan or the or the VA loan. You know, talk to that veteran, talk to that person that's buying their house for the first time. Um, let them know like wh what to do next and what they should expect. <clears throat> uh, leverage social proof. So you wanna you wanna showcase the, those reviews that you get online on Yelp on Google. You wanna put them on your website. And have a direct link back to them, you know. And there's tools that do this, like BirdEye or Review Buzz. They uh, they can pull in these reviews, have them on your website, and have like a, a little uh, a little graphic that that shows like, oh, we got 52 reviews around the web, you know, and you know five stars or or, or whatever. That's social proof. As long as it, it gets to, it's tied back to the actual source. It's gonna uh, add a lot of credibility and give it, give the person a lot of like they're dealing with the right person they're dealing with the, with the right company uh, and you know make sure the basics are in order having a, which are having a phone number in the top right you know making sure there's a web form on on every single page uh, you know you, you can't count on someone uh, going to the contact page it, it, you're actually asking a lot of them if they if you're if you're counting on them to go to the contact page um, and you know there's, you, can, you can borrow some credibility from BBB and Yelp and uh, these symbols you know Zillow these symbol these symbols will uh, add a lot of add, add that credibility <clears throat> and authority and you want to you want to ensure that you have clear calls to action on every single page and this uh, this believe it or not is missed a lot if uh, if you want if you want them to fill out uh, or to, to pick up the phone and give you a call tell them on the on the website you know that um, I get I, I bet you if I look at uh, a handful of uh, mortgage sites if I go to some of the pages it's not going to tell me to do that right there's going to be a bunch, there's going to be content that talks about this loan program and nowhere does it say hey pick up the phone give us a call or you want to get pre-qualified anything like that it doesn't say and you know tell that tell that ideal client what you want them to do and you know make sure the, make sure this y your website is mobile ready it's, it's got to be mobile uh, fit it's, it's got to fit on a mobile mobile device um, more than more than half of the people believe it or not are going to be are, are going to be looking at uh, looking you up on their phone and if they if that website you know they have to zoom in and you know there's no click to call button you're not going to they're going to go to they're going to go somewhere else they're going to hit the back button and go uh, and go somewhere else and uh, th this is you know very uh, a very crucial uh, part i mean really more than half the people uh, that that come to your website are going to be coming from a mobile device. So that that website better your be website better be ready for mobile and fit nicely. And you want to consider leveraging uh, live chat. So again, you know what what can conversion uh, optimization really do? So there's a number of things that uh, that we can uh, that we can dive deep on. Um, 
But really, the, the first thing I want to I kind of want to talk about before I'll give you guys an opportunity to uh, um, uh, to to share with you some of the websites that we've uh, that we've worked on, and I'll show you some of the results. But the first thing I would like to talk about is uh, if you if you can see what you know Joe Jones through jo uh, through Joe Jones eyes, then you can sell what Joe Jones buys, and so. Really spending spending some time there in your workbook. There's uh, the the customer avatar worksheet, and I suggest you go through this and you know get some insights into your ideal client, and you know you find out what their pains and frustrations are, their their goals and desires, you know um, their fears and implications, and you know their hopes and dreams, and so this uh, this might this some of these might work for you some of them might uh might not this is just kind of what uh what i came up with on the fly but you know typically they're the the females making the decision uh you know they might be a homeowner or future homeowner um their annual household income maybe 65k or more um you know and that, some of their their pains you know maybe they uh they're having a hard time getting someone on the phone you know <laughs> You know, they're banking, you know, they're not open after hours. Maybe they have questions. You know, a lot of times these questions come up, you know, in, uh, in the evening. You know, it's 5, 6, 7 o'clock. They're thinking about these things. And they, they, they need someone, uh, you know, they, that, that, that's going to answer the phone. And, uh, you know, they're afraid that the person's going to be uh, a little bit too busy to deal with them. And, um, you know, they, they, might be, they're, they might be underwater and... Uh, and so the, these are some of their their pain their their frustrations, right? And there there may be more of them. And their their fears, right? They have a lot of debt. They have maybe their credit their credit scores hurt. Uh, they have a high interest rate. Maybe they're in an adjustable. Thing. Rates are going higher. Um, you know their uh, their mortgage is higher than rent. You know, and they're they're having a hard time. Uh, and yes, yeah, you know that maybe they don't make enough money. Maybe you know they don't have enough for a down payment. These are some of their fears, right? And so their goals and desires, right? They 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 want a, a mortgage that they deserve, right? They want to they want to be in a in a nice home, in a driving a nice car, creating more wealth, you know, getting a you know that peace of mind. And so. Uh, I really suggest you you take a few minutes to go through your your target avatar. It's in the workbook, um, and this will help craft messaging on your website. And uh, some of the messaging that we've been we've been testing out on on different sites, you know, see what you qualify for for free, uh, shop mortgage options and, and compare rates for free, you know, get a uh, paying too much for your mortgage, um, you know, do you know how much home you can afford? You know, these are these are some of the some of the terms we're you know we're using around in and around our uh, our sites. So, um, <clears throat> and so yeah, you really want to speak to your ideal customer, your ideal client. Um, you want to you want to use uh, real imagery. You know, this is uh, our client Maureen staring right back at that person. You know, staring right back at the at the person. This does something. This you know makes them feel connected. Um, and so don't, you know, don't miss this. Uh, a lot of sites are, are, you know, miss this, uh, this piece, you know, being real and authentic with that, with that imagery. So you want to use uh, multimedia, um, you know, have, have that website welcome video, let them know a little bit about the company, let them know why they should choose you. Um, let them, uh, you know, give give them uh, you know reasons why you know to choose to choose you over the over the competition, um, and social proof. You wanna you wanna leverage that social proof around the website. There's there's tools out there that can get this done. Pull in these reviews and have a direct link back to the source. So like on Yelp and Google, uh, these these uh, these reviews um, really cool. I'll show you uh, I'll show you one. So if we go uh, to one of our, I'm gonna go to one of our sites here, 
and let me see if I can get this to fit. Um, uh oh, I think I gotta shrink this down. Oh, okay, maybe that'll fit. There we go. Okay. There we go. Can you? S hopefully, you can see that. Now, uh, what I was going to show you. Now, let's go to. Uh, like, say we went to this this page here, and you see we have the 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 social proof here, right? We got these are actually real uh, real live reviews. If I if I click on it, it's going to take me to the review, right? On Google Maps. You see, that's the the review they got. Um, just close the property. So, and then now, what's what's really special is uh is these reviews. They show up in the search results. So you see, FHA loan in Indianapolis. You can see our client. Oh, he was. It was so. Uh, it was so interesting. We had him ranking above the actual FHA website yesterday. Um, but they're right here. So you see, but they're showing up with the stars too. You see this? So their billboard now is just much, just, just much more noticeable um, with those stars. Um, just like the FHA page here. You know, this is actually FHA.com. So, uh, but yeah, they're they're showing up real high here. Let's see if we if we remove if we remove that. Uh, nope, they so they're down here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, under so yeah, you see they're they're sticking out with these votes. And so yeah, that uh so yeah, the, that's where that's where these these reviews came from. But um and then yeah, there's there's other tools I can pull in the reviews, stream them in and you know, be dynamic and change and uh and yeah, so uh and, and they link directly back to the to the source so they add a lot of credibility and you know the fundamentals you know making sure there's there's a, a, f a web form you know a phone number in the top right corner on every page and um and, and, and you know telling people what to do next and you want to make sure that this site is mobile friendly there is over over four billion people with smartphones now Three out of five consumers search for a local business from their smartphone, from their mobile device, and Google reports that 40% of mobile traffic, mobile consumers, you know, left your site. They they left your site and went to a competitor's website uh, after they had a bad a mobile experience. So, if your website's not not set up for mobile, that's something you gotta you gotta fix right away. That should be one of your your action items uh, after today's uh, workshop. And so there's a, a couple of uh, a couple of our sites here. You know, you got the click to call up there. Um, it looks like we scrolled down a little bit, but if uh, up up at the top here, it, you'd see a, a click to call button, um, and it, it would pop up this so call, or you hit, maybe they hit here call. So. Uh, um, and then live chat, man. If if you think about it, there's say five to ten, fifteen percent of the people that come to your website actually are gonna call you for whatever reason. You know, they they pick up the phone and call. Only five percent of the the people that come to your site, and so that means ninety, you know, over ninety percent of the people that come to your site leave without taking action. And we know they're interested in a mortgage. They they just hit your site, so. This live chat has been has been known to, you know, having a little having a little uh, a little pop up, you know, when when someone first reaches the site, like, hey, how can I help you? And if there's someone on that other end that can be warm and engaging, you know, uh, maybe they maybe they're curious, like, oh, what do I need, uh, you know, for this, you know? And there's someone warm and engaging on the other side, responding to that, you know, these, these there's many tools I get this done that for 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 cheap. Uh, you know, very inexpensive, and uh, they they they've been shown to increase conversions like thirty five percent. So live chat per, to increase leads by thirty five percent. So um. 
so yeah some of the key ideas are you know being being real authentic with images of your team you know on the homepage and throughout the site um, having video elements so that website welcome video uh, you want a video on you know maybe some of the loan programs like, like I spoke about earlier having a, a video about like the, the FHA uh, the FHA loan program or having a video about the VA program and uh, you want to showcase the the reviews that you're getting online you want to put them on that website you know have them uh, you know on the home page above the fold you know showing that sh social proof you want that uh, um, and, and you know you, you really want that to, to build that credibility that social proof really goes a long way um, make people feel like they're they're dealing with the right company and the the basics you know we want to make sure the phone number is in the top right corner we've 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 tested these things and, and seen many many different versions of, of mortgage websites and by far the ones that perform the best have the phone number in the top right corner you know what people do when they come to your site they they read from left to right right so that's why we have the the name you know and your logo on the left phone number on the right and so they read from left to right like in a Z format so what they're gonna do they're gonna come they're gonna look and then they're gonna come down and then there should be another call to action right so there's a phone number in the top right corner and a call to action on the right and so setting your setting your pages up like that will We'll be following the best practices for conversion. Um, you know, so phone number in the top right corner, having a web form on every page, uh, and, and you really want to make sure you have the the calls to action on every single page, speaking to your target avatar, telling them what to do next. You know, pay, tell them to pick up the phone and call you. Uh, you know, get get that pre approval process started or. Um, you know, find out find out uh, you know what uh, what the what today's rates are, um, and then add, add, adding li live chat to the site. And so, how do we optimize for conversion? So I'll show you a, a couple. Well, how am I gonna? I gotta. Oh, no, let me see. Okay, there we go. So I think uh, there we go. Fit this in here. Um, so here is a site that that we recently re redesigned, right? We, it, they came to us, they, they had recently purchased a new site. So what we did, we, we had to come in, make a lot of uh, SEO updates and make, uh, and make changes to the layout, the look and feel of the homepage and the, and the inner pages. There was no calls to action. It was, uh, you know, there was, there was uh, nothing about any of the, any of the loan programs. There was, um, one page that just spoke about all of them right I think it's right here you know and just look this is this is what this is all they had so they 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 didn't have pages for each one like you know pages about the FHA program and you know a funnel to to collect their info which show oh, there we go um, you know a funnel to to collect their info and uh, these funnels are really something uh, really special because uh, you know they we're not asking you know someone when they come here and I see this all the time you know I see you know on their on their homepage like apply now and so if this person doesn't know you and you're they come to your site and you're saying apply now <laughs> that's not exact that's not the best use of that apply now button right that that is really daunting. They're going to go to that application page and see all these personal, sensitive uh, questions that they're that's being asked. There's no way that people are just you know without knowing you, without being told to go there, they're going to go and fill that out. It never happens. And so, what we do with these funnels, we're 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 getting a a, a lot of crucial information with uh um with uh, uh, you know before we start collecting the sensitive information like their name their email and their phone number right we're, we're getting all this uh, we're getting all this information that's going to help provide an accurate quote and um, and you know tell them 
uh, to, to really help them. And so uh, there, there's a series of, uh, of steps that it walks through. But uh, before we, we ask for that, uh, that uh, the sensitive information. And so I, w I wanted to show you guys another one. Uh, here we go. And so here's another site that we that we did. It looks like the there it is. So um, looks like the the phone number was uh, had gone away when it went too small. So that that's like what the what the tablet would look like on a tablet, and um, you know so that's what uh, that's what the site looks like. So let me see if we're centered a little bit. So there we go. So knowing what we know now, like what what are some things that uh, that are helping someone convert when they come here, right? That you got some tools here about searching homes. Um, you know, there's uh, there's uh, a video of the owner. There's uh, social proof throughout the throughout the page. You got uh, pictures of the staff. Um, and so you got you know testimonials you know get adding that social proof and um and you know we're not we're not you know what we want people to do is fill out this right use one of the one of these custom tools and so i'll show you another another version of what we did with uh someone in one of our clients in san diego so we have uh you know we're asking like meet maureen like check out this video um you know, read our reviews. So that's gonna gonna take them to the testimonials page. You know, we're leveraging the social proof, having a real photo um, of Maureen, which you can see her right here working with a uh, with one of her clients. And so, and then we got you know multimedia with uh, you know uh, with those videos as well. There's a couple options for videos there on the on the homepage. So, um. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can, I can go through many more sites if you want. Uh, but first, let me stop. I do. I uh, just realized I've been uh, been talking for for quite some time, and I haven't checked the questions. So let me get to that. Boom. Um, okay. So it looks like Rich has asked. What about pay per click? Um, do you have any results for pay per click? And Rich, yeah, uh, we we do. We so we do run paid traffic and we manage those campaigns for for some of our clients. And let me see, I can pull up one of the one of the site one of the reports. Um, let me see what we got. So so we're very so we're very early in this campaign. And oh, let me see. Did I? Can I? Does that fit? So yeah, this is what it's looking like. It actually, uh, tell you the truth, it looked a lot better a few days ago. Um, there was a couple days recently that didn't get any phone calls, but we got 22 conversions. You know, about 12% uh, per, per, conversion rate. It's not very good. We had it at 22 just a, a, a day or two ago. But two days, you know, it was running without any, any conversions, and so uh, that's why that's what drove this down and we were at forty two dollars a lead so we, we're working on driving that down and by the by the uh, by the end of the month I um, you know we'll, we'll have this down uh, um, much lower than that but this is what this is what what you're what you'd be looking at um, in with with Google AdWords and so this is this is in a really tough market um, in the Bay Area of California so uh yeah i um i hope that was uh was helpful but th this is basically a summary of what you would say they got 177 clicks um that we're running a display campaign too that's why this is a little bit low so we're, we got a small display uh campaign going you're looking at about nine dollars uh per click some markets are seven dollars some are some are ten some are twelve um average cost per click but they spent about sixteen hundred, and they got twenty-two leads so far this month. So, um, and oh, let me put this back. Okay, and so, um, 
Is there any more questions? So go ahead and uh, if you do have questions, please let me know. I don't see uh, I don't see a hand up or anything. If there's, uh, you know, feel free to to, to let me know and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll see the the question once it comes in. But uh, so how do we optimize for conversion, right? And really, there's a there. I want to invite you to to download this little cheat sheet. If you go to mortgagebrokermarketing.com forward slash cheat sheet, you'll find like it's uh, it's like a wireframe of uh, of the way to uh, to set up a um, to set up your website, right? You want to you know your logo, phone number in the top right. You got some menu icons. Um, front and center is that owner. You know, call to action. You got some trust icons, testimonials. You got a map down here of uh, a form to fill out. You know, so this is kind of this is a good way to, to lay out that site, and um, and yeah. So the, please download this, use it when uh, if if you need to. I'd be happy to to share any insights um, about it. But this this is uh, this could be used to to set up your mortgage site, and so I wanna I wanna stop ask uh you know which basically you know we we just s spent a lot of time talked a lot about a lot of key ideas uh, about ways to uh to set up your website things to you things you know features to use uh where where to put the phone number all these things just filled up your mind with with a lot of uh with a lot of great information and you know th th that's great what it, now it's you know really it's about implementing that uh, that information and what you need to do is uh, you know pick three of them pick three of them uh, pick three of those uh, those key ideas and uh, and take action on them right you know so questions like does your does your uh, does your website speak to your tar target avatar you know does it address their fears and frustrations their 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 hopes and dreams um, does it, is it using real imagery? Do you have you know uh, you know an image of yourself on the homepage and throughout the site? You know is there is there images of your of your office? Um, does it does uh, does your site have video elements where uh, where you know on the homepage welcoming the, the visitor to the site? Is there is there a video about you know the F the FHA loan program? Um, if it, if not, these are simple. These are simple things you can do. You know, get get your iPhone out, and you know, have someone have someone film you talking for 30, 45 to, seconds to a minute um, about that program, telling that person what to do next, and putting that on the website. Real real simple stuff to do, and will really have a, a big impact. Um, does your does your website showcase the the on, online reviews like prominently on that homepage and throughout the site? Are you using a tool like uh, ReviewBuzz or uh, or BirdEye to get that done? Um, are you making it easy for for the potential client to to contact you? Um, are the basics in order? Do you have the phone number in the top right? Do you have a web form on every page? Is there? Do you have credibility uh, symbols throughout the site? You know, if not, these are these are these are steps you can take, action items you can do um, that will really help uh, make a, a bigger impact in converting the the visitors to your site. Um, does the calls to action? Is there a call to action on every page? If not, if there is, is it speaking to that target avatar? Um, but if there isn't any call to action, that is something we need to fix right away. You know, tell that person to give you a call, pick up the phone and give you a call. Very simple to, to do. Um, and maybe I can show you what we're talking about. And so, you know, the, if, uh, if you see here, um, you know we're on this page right there's a there's a way to contact them right here so that FHA loan rate quote will pop open a funnel 
but also down here you know start your online application and you know down here we're telling them like give us a call click here um, you know those are the the calls to action where we're, we're, we're asking people we're telling people what to do next like click here um, you know take them to the to the uh, to one of the funnels and um, and having their their phone number uh, you know give 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 me a call and the site's obviously mo mobile optimized with uh, with easy click to call f functionality um, really uh, if that I mean if, if you if this is something you don't have th this should be the, the number one item on your on your list to get done today um, but uh, so yeah what are what are those three action items that you're going to implement and uh, I'll give you uh, I'll give you a couple seconds to to uh, to write those down and then you know shoot them over here in the in the chat and uh, let me know what you're gonna let me know what you're gonna do um, and yeah let me see if there's anyone you know if you want I can I can call you guys out by name <laughs> but please yeah let me know what uh, what you're gonna do um, what are the action items you're gonna take so Jim said he's gonna contact me. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Well, we can, and, and of course, these are these are something you don't have to use us to do this. And these are things that we can all always implement for you, and we'd be happy to help you out. But Sheila said she is is uh, updating the pictures on her site. Good, good. And hold on, what else do we got? And we got Tracy. She's saying to update the to to update the calls to action throughout the site. Excellent. Those are those are some good things, you know. Um, so keep 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 uh, keep rolling in with your with your action items. I'll keep moving along here. Um, you know why uh, why you're why you're thinking about that? I do. You know that that's pretty much all the content we have for today's uh, session. I do uh, want to. I want you guys to take me up on this offer. Uh, we're gonna do a free online marketing strategy session. So we're gonna look at your uh, your online visibility. Um, we're gonna create a custom keyword list. See where you're ranking for those keywords. Uh, we're, we'll run a report and uh, share that with you. We'll look at your online directories uh, and listings across the web. Make sure you're listed consistency and uh, consistently within all these places. Uh, we'll look at your online reviews, your reputation out there, and uh, and your your social your social media presence, um, and then we'll we'll also analyze the the conversion effectiveness of your website. And so, uh, I invite you to to take advantage of this. You can call me at eight four four eight nine 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 six seven six to get that strategy session scheduled. And or you can just go to my website mortgagebrokermarketing.com forward slash schedule. That'll take that'll pop you right into my calendar, and that uh that'll you know you can pick a time slot uh, that's open for for both of us on that uh, on my calendar. So again, if there's uh, any questions, I'd be happy to to uh, to wait here and and see. You know, I see a number of you still on the line, so. Uh, I do have time for for other questions, um, but let me see if I can find the chat again. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Uh, I got one from uh, from Bill here. It says, "Don't really have a website yet. Um, I know SEO is important, but you want to focus on paid traffic first because you think it'll be faster." Well, yeah, uh, paid traffic is faster, um, you know, than SEO. And SEO is uh, your website. That's really going to have the 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 greatest impact. On, on all the other strategies, so it's really uh, it's really important to get that website running and optimized uh, smoothly. But um, and so I got another one. 
so what will the strategy session entail so oh, the the strategy session thank you um, so yeah the, what we're gonna do in the strategy session we're gonna look at your website look at things on and off your website we're gonna look at your uh, the uh, we'll analyze your online visibility by looking at the keywords creating a custom keyword list see when, seeing where you're ranking for those keywords uh, we'll create a, uh, a report and, and be able to share that with you uh, we'll look at your online directories your online pr uh, uh, your online reputation so the reviews you have online we'll take a look at those look at your social media analyze that presence and then we'll look at your website and the conversion effectiveness of it and so very simple all you got to do is go to mortgagebrokermarketing.com forward slash schedule to schedule that uh, that uh, free strategy session I, I really want you really encourage you to take advantage of this uh, this offer and you know I, I don't know if, there, if there's uh, I see still see a couple of you on the line if uh, there's no more questions I'll just uh, I'll just go ahead and end it for uh, for now you can always email me at Brian that's B R I A N at mortgagebrokermarketing.com that will take you or th that will come right to me uh, so any questions you know feel free to reach out Brian at mortgagebrokermarketing.com you can always call or uh, f you know if you want to schedule that strategy session go to my website mortgagebrokermarketing.com forward slash schedule thank you for your time and I look forward to uh, to talking with you guys soon Thank you.